CS and some salt in the White Sox wound. XJ, Darren Jackson, was traded during the season for Tony Fernandez. Speaking of rings, Roberto Alomar dialing long distance, a three run shot off Blackjack in the seventh. That was the difference, and the Jays cruise from there with their brand new rings. Rough one for Blackjack, four runs, eight hits, and in seven innings. Carlos Delgado, the shot of the day, a home run off the window of the Hard Rock Cafe. Big hurt. Two for four. Fensato, and yeah, he's good in the field, but it's what he does with a bat that's scary. Alex Fernandez, Delgado. Oh, he rips it. And this one off the Windows restaurant. One nothing Jays. Six innings, same score. Stu, Frank Thomas on first, and Julio Franco down by the schoolyard, out of the ball yard. A two run homer, two one Sox. Toronto takes the lead, bottom of the six in the eighth. Joe Carter, sure my thumb is fractured, doesn't bother me. Dead center for insurance in the final in this one, 5-3. Stu gave up four hits, including that home run to Franco. Twice in the AL playoffs, Stewart beat Fernandez. Todd Stottlemyre, a perfect ninth in relief. The 21 in Skydome lifetime. Pat Henkin, normally a fly ball pitcher. He kept the ball on the ground, kept Robbie Alomar busy. Tim Raines, 4-3. Craig Grebeck. Same thing, Robin Ventura again to Robbie. These are not replays, folks. More of the same. Dan Pasqua pulls one to Alomar. Robbie hogging the limelight. Mike Lavalier, Spanky spanks it to Alomar. Reigns again. Alomar, six assists, two putouts in just three innings. The big hurt, though, would take over. This one to second base. Alomar can't get to this one. Grebeck scores one up in Sox after three. Galen Sisko to Paul Splajara. Keep the ball down to Robin Ventura. Did not listen. Got to listen to the coach. Gone. Ventura's fifth career grand slam. That made it 7-1 Sox. They go on for the easy win. Ventura and Jackson. Darren Jackson. Couple of bombs each. Wilson Alvarez wins his ninth consecutive decision. Paul Splajarek became the seventh native Canadian to wear the Blue Jays uniform. Royals and Orioles. From Dave Fleming. Release. Rotation. Smash. Opposite field, number three for Carlos. Three nothing Jays. Same inning, five nothing Jays. Joe Carter up again against Fleming. Bon voyage, number two for Joe. And the Jays win it. Seattle now 0 and three. Al Leiter struck out six and gave up one earned run in six innings. Devo four for four and ties the Jays record with two triples. Paul Molitor just three hits away from. 2,500. Blue Jays, Randy Johnson bad, Joe Carter good. You know, Dan, he's gonna have a great season when he comes back from this thumb injury, don't you think? I think he's good. He'll be tough when he gets back in the lineup. That's four home runs. He wasn't supposed to be back till May. Then Randy got a little wild. He walked Sprague, he walked Huff, he walked Randy Knorr. Bases are ordered for Alex Gonzalez. Now it's time to play guess the highlight. Is it a grand slam? Mm -mm. Three run triple? Mm -mm. He walked him high and inside. The run scores. And it just kept getting worse for Randy. 12 to 6, Toronto the final. They come out and get him to Sammy Ellis. Four solo homers, no for Seattle. Carter has five RBI. Carter says his thumb still hurts a little. It was supposed to keep him out till May. By the way, Cito Gaston benched John Olderud in this game to eliminate even the remote chance that the Wild Johnson might accidentally hit Olderud in the head with a pitch. It's athletics opening day at the Coliseum in Oakland. The A's off to a three and two start, Delgado. so they're fired up, but the Blue Jays provided the firepower. Delgado Carlos airmailed. John Olerud, sweet swing. This one leaves two off. Witt, a solo blast. Jays up five zip. Witt, five innings, seven runs, all earned. Olerud again. Ruben Sierra goes back and goes back. And Olerud went four for five with two home runs because he couldn't bring it in. Let's not forget about Molly. Paul Molitor, the double down the line and left. Schofield, White both come in. Molitor, four for five, four RBIs. And Carlos Delgado, Carlos the cat. Carlos cashing in big time off Billy Taylor. Oh, every home run he hits is impressive. This is a two-run shot, fifth of the year. He was two for four, five RBIs, two home runs. The converted catcher. He's hit five home runs in seven games. His slugging percentage is 917, and he says he feels pretty good. Five. We've got Welch facing Olerud. Bases are full, and Olerud a drive high, deep to left. Geronimo Baroa goes back. And he makes a possible grand slam saving catch. Olerud a sack fly. A's up 6 4 in the seventh. Red hot Carlos Delgado. Carlos reaches out. Are you serious? A three run home run, his sixth of the year. And the Jays are up 7 6. Top of the ninth, first and second, Junior Naboa. And he singles to left off Todd Stottlemyre. Heeman comes around to score. And we're tied at seven. We go eight. We go nine. We go bottom 10. McGuire. 
That's a call third strike. And what does Mark do? Mark gets angry. He takes out his frustrations, not only on the umpire. Mark decided to head into the dugout. Little ice, little Gatorade. How about some garbage? Yeah, there we go. All right, Mark. Bottom of the 12th, two on for Mike Bordick. And he singles off Cattare. Troy Neal comes around to score. Bordick, the hero, as the A's win it by a score of 8-7. to seven. That was a late strike call that Mark McGuire was arguing. That's why he got so angry. Carlos Delgado, six home run, has hit six homers in his first 31 at second. He'd already committed an error that led to a two-run first inning for the Jays. Now he makes another error in judgment. He's meat. Gunned down by Pat Borders. So it's still 2-0 in the fifth. Juan Guzman cruising along when Tim Salmon unloads. He knocked in four in the game, three of them coming in that empty seated shot there. Mark Leiter did the rest, struck out Carlos Delgado and Ed Sprague pitched into the seventh. The inspirational story, his first win since June of 1993. Leiter, who lost his infant son this spring and was released by the Tigers, gets his first win as a angel. Joe Gray picks up his fourth save as the Jays is trying to break a three-game losing streak. It's true. At the Angels. Khaled, 6-3 into the eighth, hurt by bullpen trouble. Ed Sprague doubles down the line off Mike Butcher. Joe Carter scores. Here's John Olerud. Beats the relay throw. Toronto leads 7-6. Top nine, 10-6 Jays. Carlos Delgado continues to do it. What a career already. 13-6 Jays. Angel fans heading for the exits. But what would they miss? Bottom nine, 13-9. The base is loaded. Damon Easley singles home Jim Edmonds. Angels within three now. Cut it to 13-11. First and second for Harold Reynolds. Reynolds takes Todd Stottlemyre, the closer. Deep to right, a ground rule double tied at 13. We're going to extra innings. Bottom 10, two down, yucking it up in Anaheim. Damon Easley comes through again. The single to left. Here's Tim Salmon trying to score from second. Not even close. The Angels go on for the 14-13 wild win. Cal's seven-run ninth inning rally equals the biggest comeback in franchise history. Craig Lefferts picked up the win in relief. California not known for giveaways. I'm sorry, son. That ball costs money. Oh, give me a break. Fifth inning, 4 nothing Toronto. Crazy play here. Chad Curtis rips one. This part of a four-run inning. Oh, some big problems for Devo out there. And then Alex Gonzalez hesitates and waits. Meantime, Eduardo Perez comes on in and scores. Eighth inning, more trouble for Gonzalez. Just listen. Oh, my goodness. That's why they wear batting helmets. Alex Gonzalez hesitates. He would be okay. Now, bottom of the ninth, 5 nothing, 5-4 Jays. Pat Henkin punches out Bo Jackson and enjoys it. A big effort for Henkin, a huge win. Not only does he save the bullpen with a complete game, he stands pat on the road where Henkin has become one of baseball's best. This win of rivalry. Top of the first, ex-Angel Devon White. Well, they got Luis Soho for him. He takes Chuck Finley deep and unplayable. Jays off to the quick one nothing start as the leadoff hitter goes. Jays would be leading 4-3 in the eighth when Vincent Eugene Bo Jackson leads off against Tony Castillo. Blue Jay bullpen, what Blue Jay bullpen? The game's tied at four. Top of the 10th, sacks for Jays. Joe Gray facing Ed Sprague. That's your ball game right there. Alomar trots home as the blooper goes over the drawn in infield over the head of Eduardo Perez at first base. And there it is, the new closer, Todd Stottlemyre, gets the win. The old closer, Dwayne Ward, is day to day for the seventh straight day, which is a record. Latest on him, extra. Top of the first, Joe Carter. For the gap in right center, Paul Molitor, who had three hit scores. Jays are up one to nothing. Bottom of the third, two men on. Carter again, and get out of here. Three-run homer, his sixth of the year. If they had a nice guy Olympics, he'd win a gold medal every time. Kevin Brown, ten runs given up, never got out of the fourth inning. Rick Reed pitching. He was called up when Armstrong went on the DL. And Carlos Delgado, one more time, a three-run shot, eighth of the season. Half of his eight home runs have been three-run shots as Kevin Brown ties... Kenny Rogers giving up a team record of 10 runs. He, as we said, never got past the fourth. His ERA up near 12. When first... James Stewart, strong start. Gets Doug Strange looking to end the third. One of Stu's seven strikeouts in seven innings. Rick Helling cruising as well until he ran into Joe Carter. Carter gives the Jays the lead. Two-run double. Alomar and Molitor score. Top of the eighth. Jays up 3-1. Jose Canseco hammers it off Mike Timlin. Two-run shot. Canseco's fifth to tie the game at three. Into extra innings we go. Tom Hankey in for the Rangers. Kevin Kennedy concerned. Hankey walked the first two batters of the 11th. John Oliver at third with two outs and Pat Borders. The game-winning hit, the deep single.
to center field off Hanky. Jays win at 4 3 in 11. Jays have won four straight. Rangers have dropped four in a row. Joe Carter's 22 ribbies lead the AL. Todd Stottlemyre allows one hit over three and two thirds. Keep man, Chuck Knobloch against Al Leiter. Opposite field. And Nobby's first of the year, one nothing Twins. Bottom of six, 3-2 Twins. Joe Carter, red hot. Up, up, and away. A two-run homer, his eighth of the year, 4-3 Jays. Top of eight, 7-6 Jays. Bases loaded, no outs for the Twins. Cito Gaston calls on Mike Timlin. Gets Alex Cole looking, then Kirby, the high heat. Oh, what about Winnie? Is the ball juiced? No. For the warning track. Timlin and the Jays escape. Joe Carter had three ribbies, upping his major league leading total to 27. Carter breaks his club run. The Twins to stay tied with Boston. Two-time defending World Series champs played this line like an exhibition game. Scott Leyes in the easy fly ball in the second. Not that easy for Joe Carter. It's that thumb, I think. Leyes would get the third on this and would score on a ground out. We're not even in the Humphrey Dome. In the fourth, no outs. Watch Herbeck break for third. Alex Gonzalez didn't pay any attention to him. Herbeck gets the third and would score on a sack fly. And then in the seventh inning, some very, very bad baseball. Matt Walbeck laces a double to right field. Scott Leyes will come around to score. There's a throw to the plate. All right, you throw to the plate in that situation. But then Pat Borders decides to try to get Walbeck at second. The problem is Rich Becker was on third. He trotted home easily. Seven to three, your final. The Blue Jays are now a game behind the Red Sox. What about Alex Cole? His first home run ever comes in his 1,323rd, 22nd at bat, but the ball is not juiced. First inning, David Cohn against Paul Molitor. Stretch pitch, swung on. Deep to center field and bounces off the base of the wall. Ryan McRae tracks it down and check out Paul Molitor. Inside the park, home run for Paul. His second homer of the game, his first and second of the year, but the Royals win it. David Cohn gets the win. He improves to three and one. The game ended with Toronto's Pat Borders bouncing into a controversial double play, stopping the tying run from crossing the plate. Toronto Blue Jay manager Cito Gaston has been suspended. Anymore. Blue Jays Rangers, bottom of one, Al Leiter against Jose. Singles in Chris James, one nothing Texas. Plus, Kevin Brown got some help. Here he gets Bobby Alomar to hit into the 5-4-3 double play. Texas turned four double plays. Plus, he helped himself out. Knocking down Joe Carter's line drive with his bare hand, getting Carter at first. Oh, the Rangers win. One more shot of the King. There he is. It's the first time in 103 games dating back to June that the Blue Jays have been shut out. Kevin Brown gets his first win after four losses. Top of five. The sky. Pat Henkin, ERA 5.67. Kevin Apier, his ERA 7.86. Top of the first. Brian McRae, Kays, Wally Joyner caught looking. Henkin Kays the side. Bottom of the third. Apier would match Henkin. Randy Knorr, a strikeout. Dick Schofield, see you later. Apier pitches a three hitter, struck out 10. The biggest scorecard in history, only 35 cents Canadian. Top ninth. Blue Jays up 1 0. Mike McFarland. The 14th casualty of the night. Blue Jays win one zip. Henkin, the two hitter. First complete game shutout for him. Got a feel for Apier. The Jays win their first game of the season when scoring fewer than four runs. And Dwayne Ward could be close to going on a rehab. Hockey's first inning. Rough start for Flash. Joe Carter deep and gone. League leading 10th homer of the year. Jays built a 5 0 first inning lead. But Juan Guzman couldn't get out of the third inning. His name is Brent Main. Unloads the bases juice to Grand Slam. Guzman gives up eight runs and two plus. Royals going to win 11 to nine. Brent Main, not to be confused with Bruce Wayne, entered the game with just 22 at bats this season and five career homers. The Royals have scored 10 or more runs six times this season after doing it just five times in 93. Jeff was in the sixth, however. Bottom of the ninth, Jays down 2 1. They intentionally walked Devon White. One on, one out, two on. Domingo Cedena at the plate, rips the first pitch in the right. Pat Borders rounding third. A play at the plate, and it's a close one. Safe. Tied at two. Paul Mulder. The bounce of the short. Kevin Seitzer can't get a handle on it. White scores from third to win it in the ninth, three to two. Phil Garner decided to walk Devon White, putting the potential winning run on and pitch to Cedeno. It backfired, but Garner said, I'll take my chances with the kid before I take my chances with 
Devon. Closer to first than the Jays are. Here's Teddy working his way back from rotator cuff surgery, visiting with his old friend Paul Molitor, who tags him for a home run to make it 2-1 to one Jays. Meanwhile, Henkin was going for a second straight complete game after the brilliant performance Tuesday. Greg Vaughn, have a seat. Cito says, I like what I'm seeing, so I'll just keep leaning back. In the ninth, 3-1 Jays, he gets Vaughn looking. And then on the phone, he's thinking Cito is that Henkin's getting a little tired. Kevin Seitzer, ground ball off the glove of Dick Schofield. And Cito goes out to the mound to commune with Henkin. Leaves him in, walks Jaha. One ball on Bernanski, they take him out of the game. That's it for the complete game. Darren Hall, the 29-year-old rookie, comes in to get Bernanski with the whiff. And Henkin said before the game, to Hall, I get the win, you get the save. And it happened. The Jays have now won two in a row after losing three straight. Joe Carter was again DNP BPV. Did not play. Al Leiter looking for his first win in three starts. Gets some glove help from Ed Sprague, who just gets Cal at first. Cal graying and sometimes graceful. A nice backhand gets Darnell Cole. Sid Fernandez, the Baltimore starter, gets the job done through 95% fastball, said Cito Gaston. Gets Robbie Alomar there. Then showing his Sid-like quickness, getting off the mound and getting Coles at first. Seven and a third, four hits, one run. Not bad. The Camden coupon, all he does is save. Lee Smith coming in in the ninth. It's Pat Borders to lock down his 14th save. No other team in the majors has 14. Toronto, Texas, Seattle, and Oakland combined have 14 saves. The entire AL West has 15 saves. El Cid gets win 100. Sabo back on the DL with his bad back. Carter, as you see, back in the lineup. On hits, Pat Borders, the single, Devon White, the double, Roberto Alomar, slap to left, Paul Mahler bunts, John Oru, the splinted splinter singles, Roberto scores, bye-bye, Jamie Moyer. Toronto comes out of the inning up 3-0. Bottom of four, bases loaded, no outs. Leo Gomez has a chance. Off the wall, two-run score, and then tension at home. Chris Hoyles called out. Johnny Oates thought he was safe on the replay. Is the ball touching him before his feet touch the plate? You decide. I can't make all these decisions. 3-3, three, three, bottom of five, Hoyles. Two-run single up the middle. Baltimore wins it. Mike Oates pitches five innings of hitless relief for his first major league win. The O's have won 10 of 13. Maple Leafs, bottom of three. Mahler on first, Joe Carter. Down the line, Fryman misses, Molitor around second, and then the relay. Tension at home. Here's the play at the plate. He's called safe as he touches the bag. A closer look. Chad Cooter's tag appears to touch Paul's right leg before he touches home. But the play stands 3-1, to one, Jays. And you know what? It gets worse for Sparky. Bottom eight, 5-2, Jays, two on. Joe Carter reach out and bloop someone. Border scores. Alomar is safe at third. 7-2 Jays. Jays end their five-game losing streak as they win. Joe Carter, three for four and drove in four runs. What a view. A room with a view, Carl. Mm -hmm. Joe Carter well. spanks to left. Two run shot. Three ribbies for Carter. 49 on the season. 5-0 Toronto in the six. Runner at second, Devon White. Deep drive to center. Eric to Davis, center dual Davis dance, make over. the little glove. Get down, and then get up. Dick Schofield at second tags, tries to score. Sweet Lou, the throw to plate. Not in time, 6-3 Jays. More defense, Roberto Alomar. Tony Phillips, Castillo's legs. Alomar got him at first. Kirk Gibson, smack. Bobby Alomar! Doesn't like to be called Bobby. It's Roberto. Jays go on to win. Dave Stewart allowed three hits in five and two-thirds. It's only the second win in eight games for the Jays. Stu missed his previous turn in the rotation with a groin. Pop. What about the Indians and the Jays? Paul Mulder hitting with the roof off Skydome for only the second game this season. Up, up and away. His fifth, eight to one Jays. And then Mulder again goes long. He went four for five in the ball game. Top of nine, nine, six Jays. Carlos Baerga up the middle. Domingo Sedeno's throw will nail Baerga in the mouth. He ends up on third, in some pain, and spitting some blood. And check this out. First base coach, David Nelson, that's his tooth. Carlos, out of tooth, tribe, out of game. Jays win. Mahler gets his seventh career two-homer game. 
The Jays have won four of five. Joe looking to sweep the Indians. What's Joe Carter laughing at? American League pitching. So he's walked eight oh. Albert nine. Bell is laughing too. He hit the ball real hard. Ball. Off Juan Guzman, it's deep, and I don't think it's playable. One nothing Indians after two. Saturday night, Carlos Baerga had root canal work. Here he drills one down the line and right. Oh man, did I actually say that? Lofton and Kirby score. It's three nothing after three. More than enough for El Presidente. Dennis Martinez with some help from Alvaro Espinosa gets the man at second on the double play. Schofield, the victim there. Then Espinosa again. And Joe Carter, they're not gonna get him. He's out. So Dennis also did a little of work himself against Paul Molitor, equally veteran as himself. Sit down, Paul. Going for the complete game shutout. Borders, ground ball, third base. Second, that's it. No double play. It was already two outs. That's the ball game. It's a final. The first AL shutout for El Presidente since the 5th of June, 1985. Loser Guzman had been 6-0 against the Indians' lifetime. Stat of the day, Albert Bell has reached base in 34 of the last 36 games. The rest of the ball, including another brawl, later on in the big show. Mike Prince. Meyer, and it's Clark facing Carter, and he loses the battle. His 14th and 53rd RBI, 4-3 Indians. Domingo Cedeno filling in at second for Alomar. He's going to go to first. He's going to go to second. He's going to even try and go to third. I think we're going to have a close play. And he's... So he gets the arm around the glove. He's safe. Buddy Bell says, you're wrong. Mike Hargrove says, you're wrong. Larry Young says, you're gone. Indians intentionally walk Paul Molitor to get to who? Joe Carter, the leading RBI man. Why? So we can hit into an inning-ending double play, so it works. Bottom of the eighth, pinch runner Mike Cuff on second, borders to left. Off plunk. Albert Bell comes up gunning. And Huff keeps huffing, and, and he's gone. We're still tied at five. Bottom of the ninth, Devon White at second after a double. Carter on deck. Molitor, again the free pass. Oh, they're flirting with disaster, and Carter makes them pay. Jose Mesa gives up the base hit. That's RBI 5-4 for Carter. And the Jays win it, and Joe said afterwards, the first time they got away with it, I wouldn't let them get away with it the second. Who haven't met since the 1993 World Series Game 6. Bottom of two, tied at one. Stewart delivers. Jim Leyritz, a man aboard. It's gone. Three to one, Yanks. Bottom of the fourth, now 5-1 New York. Pat Kelly, single to center. Devon White overruns the ball. Gallego. Tries for home. Robbie Alomar, no throw. 6 1 Yanks. Top of nine, still 6 1. Two out. Terry Mulholland looking for the complete game against the talented toothpick, John Olroot. And Mulholland goes the distance. The Yanks win. Mulholland throws a five hitter with five strikeouts and a walk. The Yanks have won 13 of their last 16. Stewart drops to three and four after failing to last into the sixth inning for the fourth straight time. Coming into two stripers. Yankee fans can taste that pennant fever. Oh, Wade's next at bat, been there and done that. He came in hitting 444 against Henkin, but those were his first two homers. Now it's raining. Now it's pouring. There's a happy fan right there. He's saying good spend on this one. Rain stopped, Abbott didn't. Six, four, three, Abbott goes the distance. He is now five and one and six starts at the stadium. And unlike the Wicked Witch, that guy didn't melt in the rain, did he? Uh, ooh, that may be the George factor, everybody. Wade Boggs says he doesn't know what he's doing right. He hadn't hit a home run in the first 35 games. He has now hit five in his last five games. Joe Carter did have both Blue Jays RBI, three, two, and 10. Angels and the Jays to Sky Dome, bottom two. Dick Schofield hit a grand slam in 87. Dick Schofield hits his first grand slam since then off of Mark Langston. That's a Dick Schofield second deck blast. Chuck Finley, a notoriously slow starter, trying to warm up. Bottom of the first. The first batter is Devon White, his former teammate in California. Saws him off, but Eduardo Hernan, Eduardo Perez, they're not going to get him. Debo is on. The next batter, Roberto Alomar. He hit the ball real hard. Jays up two zip. After one, Finley's worried. He well should be. Todd Stottlemyre facing Dwight Smith. Stotts looked good since they moved him back out of the bullpen. Fists it into short right, and Alomar full extension and makes the great running catch. Todd continued to roll. Salmon had two hits. That's neither one of them. Vincent Boo Jackson, he went 0 for 3. Stottlemyre shut the Angels out. Alomar said the last time he faced Finley, Chuck busted him inside with fastballs. So that's what he was looking for in the first, and that's what he homered off of. It was Stott's fourth career shutout. His dad pitched four. On the bench, sinus congestion and a headache. 
That is a two-run blast from Troy Neal. Off Henkin, 3 nothing A's. Uh-oh, Joe Carter's up. He's pinch hitting Darling split finger. Three and two, he got him. To first base with a walk. Some cautious optimism from Cito. Bob Butler, call him Rob if you want. The double play, that's dodging a major bullet. Speaking of bullets, Ricky Henderson, fire one. With two on, the three-run shot made it seven zip. Cito calls, Jim Leland calls. Everybody's calling for help. They're not getting it. Darlin gives up two hits and seven and a third. Nine of the A's 15 wins have come against two teams. Five against Minnesota, four against the Jays. They are six and 33 against the rest of the...